Hi guys, welcome back for a Project Life Process video. This week I'm going to be showing you how I get my photos into my album. This isn't going to be any decorative or embellishment, but I have a few tips for creating custom Project Life layouts with the Fuse tool. If you haven't seen my post about getting your photos prepped and printed, head over to my blog and I'll link it below. There will be plenty of information there with some free templates to get you started. So I printed all my photos after I prepped them and right now I'm just trimming them out. For larger spans I basically use my paper trimmer. That's for anything that's 6 by 12 or 8 and a half by 11. And then for all the small little cuts for the 2 by 2 photos, the 3 by 3 photos, I simply use my scissors. I find it to be much quicker and easier to get them down to size. As you can tell I'm also trimming about a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch off the bottom and the sides of each photo. That will leave me room to fuse into my page protector and keep it the same size. After I do that I make sure that I stack them in the order that they're printed. That makes sure that I'm getting the photos in the order that I wanted and that's all how I prepped them. So I prep them in the order that I want them to be in the album. That makes it easy once I trim them out and stack them to keep them in the proper order and everything will be much easier and I won't really have to think about it when I'm worrying about fusing everything in. I also keep a sketchbook that has the layouts with detailed information. I went over that in my post about prepping and printing and that lets me know that I'm putting everything in the right place. So in this first spread, I only have uh, five photos, so I slip them in and fuse down the middle of the H page protector where there wasn't a line, and then I just stapled in the date. I've pre-stamped all my dates, and so I just use the Project Life date stamp on a white piece of paper, and I staple that on with the tiny attacher. And then for the 6x12, I slip that in as well. Here I'm sticking in 2x2 two two inch photos and aligning them up and then fusing the next row. Then I'm going to make sure that these line up and fuse the vertical pocket. Um, here I'm taking just a 6x12 inch page protector. You can either buy them that size or I fused mine down from a 12x12 12 12 that I had gotten a large pack quite cheap. So I pre-prepped all these 6 by 12 inch pockets because that's the size that I'm using for Project Life this year. Um, and then I continued building my rows and fusing them in. If I fused the vertical channel and can't get my photo in with my hands, I simply use the cork side of that ruler to help prep them in. I then am trimming these 4 by two photos down to a two by three inch strip. Um, I think I was half asleep when I prepped them and accidentally prepped them at four inches instead of three. So I just trimmed those down using the three by three photos that I'm putting in now. And then I'm doing the same. I'm starting with a vertical three inch channel, slipping my photos down using the cork side of that ruler and then fusing up the pockets row by row. So I just align them and then use the ruler to kind of get the straightest edge possible. And then I'm going to be fusing the pages together. That will be a spread. This is a great way to not worry about how you're designing your layouts. I simply put some tape on the inside of the pages and then fused around all the different edges of the two pages. This will make a double-sided spread that looks like it's one page but then I have a 6 by 12 on one side and then the 2 by 2s on the other side. I just went over it a few times with my fuse tool to make sure that all the layers are merged together and then I check it to make sure that they're nice and fused and won't come apart. Here I'm doing my two inch by four inch spread and in that bottom corner I also have a movie ticket so this is perfect for including any memorabilia that you want. And then I simply fused up in a straight channel and that's a 
two inch channel vertical and I went over it a few times to make sure that it was in there. Um, and then I'm just tidying up my trimmings, any photos that aren't the same height, you know, fix those, um, make sure that everything is aligned before you fuse it in there. And I finished this one up with the top row. And then I'm doing the same process where I tape it together and then fuse front to back. It's pretty quick and it makes it look really nice in your album. Here's a fun little tip if you want to include things like photo strips. It's fun to make them their own insert with the transparency around it. I think it makes for a fun little input. So this goes in between my album and I simply put fusing around the corners of those little photo strips. Here again, I have the H page protector and I'm simply dividing that bottom four by six and top four by six photo into a three by four pocket with my fuse tool and a ruler. This is another two by two spread. Um, you can see on my post about prepping and printing that I have a cheat sheet that tells you how many photos you can use per spread. So when I look at how many photos I have for the week, I simply pick out what layout fits the best for my number of photos. Either I can drop off a few photos or add a few more, um, depending. But this was a day where we went on a trip to the Biomes, which is a water and aqua life center. So I had a ton of fun photos of my nephew and I really wanted to include a lot of them. So this two by two spread is a great option. And I simply am fusing and sliding in with my ruler, as I mentioned before. So it's a pretty easy process. And then once I want to add embellishments or anything like that, I can either slice open the pockets or add them right on top. So that's a fun option. And then I'm adhering the pages back to back and trimming if any of the page protectors don't line up and then simply fusing them together. And using the ruler makes it really simple to get a good straight fuse. And you just make sure that it's metal so that it won't melt. And then I'm done. This was week 27 in my project life and it had a lot of adventures. So then I just plop it into my album. And if the page protector holes don't line up, simply um, punch a few new holes so that it will fit into your album and you'll be good to go. And there's that transparent insert and the rest of my pages as well. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you get started on putting some different inserts into Project Life. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel and check the bottom bar for links to my blog, social media, and all the products that I used within this video. See you next time.